What's up, everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to make your own instrument in Cubase using samples that you collect from wherever you feel like collecting them. So right now uh, on the video screen, I am loading up my Zoom H5. It's a portable field recorder with an SD card so that I can go out and capture that sweet, sweet audio. And the Zoom H5 is a dope field recorder. It's got two XLR uh, inputs. It's got that stereo mic, which is what I use for this application. And you can record actually four tracks at a time because you can record stereo from the top mic and then two XLRs. But in this instance, I'm just using the built-in XY stereo mic to record these samples. And I have this wind chime out in my backyard and I uh, like the sound of it. So I figured let's make an instrument out of that. Why not, huh? So this is the involved and complicated process of getting samples. I turned on the recorder. I turned it to stereo mode. I hit record. Here we go. And then I recorded all this stuff. So it's not really rocket science. You just sort of go for it and everything is cool. So then once you get those uh, things, you just put this SD card into your computer and I put it into the project folder. And so we'll go to file, import, import audio file. And here it is. You can see zoom 004 and I'll do new. I used it before. I'll just drag it to the front of the timeline here so that I can, so we can listen to it and try to find samples that would be useful. That sounds cool. That's good enough. <laughs> so let's just take this. Yeah, that sounds good. So let's listen to that. Uh, so if you want to select your locators around an event, you just click on it and you hit the P key and then you can loop it. We can work with that. That could become our instrument. So let's pull that down to a new track. Cool. So now we just do our audio editing. We want to fade out the back, fade out the front. And that sample's a little long, so let's shorten it up. Oh, hit J because snap is on. That's cool. Now we get to have fun. We get to screw around with a bunch of plugins and try to make the sample sound cool so that it can be cool when we put it into our sampler track and make it into an instrument. So I find when I'm doing something like that, I like to hit the E and just open up this whole channel thing. And I think because this is a Cubase tutorial, and I've done this before where I use third-party plugins, I won't do that this time. So everything I use will be a Cubase plugin to make this sample. So the first thing I'll use is frequency to cut out some stuff I don't want. That sounds pretty cool. I like that. And then let's just use a compressor to sort of, you know, uh, I don't like, I think that it could use a little more attack. And then we'll compress a little bit of that. <laughs> I'll add something that'll take it away. Well, uh, so we got the compressor going. Let me pull the channel strip back up because, uh, so we're getting about one dB of gain reduction.
We'll take off that auto makeup. Take this down to a good about 3 dB. That sounds about right. So it's just uh, compressing a little bit, just squeezing it just a bit, and then we get to have fun. Uh, so we've applied our fre uh, frequency, our EQ. We've applied our compressor. Now we can start to get crazy. Let's just put a bunch of... Cool, I like that. Um, and let's do some modulations. Let's see. Uh, chopper, I've, I don't think I've ever used Chopper, but I'm sure we could figure out how it works. Let's just do a bouncer, that sounds cool. Whoa. Oh, I like that, like a little digga-da effect. But let's take it down in the mix. Cool. That's good. Now let's do another modulation just for fun. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Why don't we do a more filter? I know that we can make some cool sounds with that. Ooh, yeah, there it goes sort of percussive that hit Let's see if any of these do anything no I liked it where it was at cool that's enough modulations for me uh, let's just add a maximizer to sort of control volume that's a limiter at the end of the chain and you see the samples outputting at around negative 10 DB which is exactly where I want it to be. So, with that in mind, let's make our instrument, huh? So, let's open up the lower zone. Oh, crap. There's something we need to do first. Uh, we need to render this in place. So, I'll select the event. I'll hit P. And then I will go to Edit. Render in place. Because we want all those effects we just put on to go into the sampler track. So we want to render settings. Because if you do render with current settings, it just renders it out with the settings applied to the side here, which is no good. So if you had things going to a group and you wanted to keep the group or you had uh, stuff on input chain or you wanted master effects, you would choose these. But I just want everything that's on the channel. So I'll just choose all the channel settings and I'll render it as one event, not as separate events. And I should get a new track with all these changes that we made printed to the audio so we hit render and we do have it so you see that little ticket thing so let's get back here cool so that's our sample so now we need to make it into an instrument and we do that by opening up our lower zone and dragging the audio sample and this happens sometimes it goes away if i switch to editor and switch back then i have my controls so let's play the instrument huh Pretty cool, huh? And you can add filters here in the sampler, so. If you want to, low pass. And you know what I think the sample actually needs? Let's get rid of this. Let's, I think that that actually needs some distortion. So let's just add it, huh? A bit crusher, yeah. Cool, and now we need to print it again, unfortunately. But we can do that, render in place, render settings, and it's all set up the way we want it to be. Cool, so we can pull that down.
Yeah, I like that better. Much better, much better. So you can do whatever you want. And so uh, you can adjust the pitch because I know that it maps to C3. That'll be the same as this uh, sample. But that might not necessarily be in C. So uh, how would we do that, huh? I don't know. I suppose you could like use amp rack or something. Or is there a tuner? Yeah, there is a tuner. So uh, let's see, what would we do here? Sampler control, we get audio. Take the speed way down and hit the C3. It's D flat, so it's really close actually. So what we need to do, since it's D flat, we need to course tune this down one semitone. And then C is C. Pretty cool, huh? And then we can take that back to normal. Uh, just by control clicking, we can turn off audio warp. And we have, you know, like a... <laughs> I love it. So that is how you make an instrument out of just a random sound that you found in Cubase. So I hope you found this helpful. I do Cubase tutorials every Monday, so feel free to like or subscribe and leave a comment if there's something you want to see me cover in the future. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day. Bye.